Well, hello everyone. Happy, I almost said happy Sunday. It's not even Sunday here and that's not even the day you guys are probably watching. Welcome in. My name is Jessica. If you've never been on my channel before, never watching my videos, today we're gonna do what I call speed reviews. And that is where I talk about 10 to 15 products I've been using over the past few months. And I can give you more finalized full reviews because I love to do like first impression style videos from time to time. But I also like to kind of have that follow through and share with you guys, okay, now that I've tried it for a while, is it any good, you know? So that's what we're doing today. I have some skincare to talk about. I have a ton of makeup drugstore high-end, we've got it all. I will have everything listed and linked with prices, et cetera, down below as I always do. And I did wanna take a second to talk about my sweater. No, <laughs> I'm just kidding. We'll talk about it in a little bit, actually. I did wanna take a second to thank today's sponsor, which is Maylove. My gosh, I've been using the skincare brand for a few years now and my skin has never been better. So one of the reasons I love working with Maylove is I've tried so many of their products and they typically just let me pick whatever I am loving and whatever I want to talk about. And the one that came to mind is their Night Renewer Cream. This is still newer to me, which is perfect, I think, in a speed reviews because I've been using it for a few months and y'all, my skin has never looked better. This is a glycolic acid cream that's even suitable for sensitive skin. It's going to improve your skin texture. It's gonna fade dark spots. It's gonna help diminish pores and fine lines and wrinkles. It kind of does it all. It's like a facial in a jar. And if you're someone that's also been dealing with like maskne, I feel like it even helps with that. But the reason I think that this is magic is because not only does it help exfoliate your skin, but it also has a lot of soothing and calming ingredients so that your skin doesn't have reactions to it, especially if you're more sensitive to it. So it's got vitamin E, squalane, shea butter, aloe, all these different ingredients that are gonna help keep your skin calmed. And it also has hyaluronic acid to keep your hydration in your skin. So it really does it all. If you're looking for something to kind of add to your routine that's just gonna amp it up just that bit more, I really think you would enjoy this. I have been loving this. The way I incorporate it in my routine is is every other night I apply this and on alternating nights I'll apply a retinol. I love the texture of it. I love the way it feels when I put it on my skin and my skin always looks so rejuvenated and evened out when I wake up after using this at night. Now I couldn't go on without mentioning another thing I've been doing as the winter weather has set in and my skin's getting a little bit drier. I'm still, I've been using all year their Love 31 face oil and what I've loved doing is taking a drop or two of this and mixing it with my nighttime moisturizer. Right now I'm using the May Love the one cream. I'm about two thirds of the way through this. And when you mix them, it feels incredible. My skin is so hydrated. And the best part is whatever's left on my fingers, I'll do my neck and decollete. I'll do the backs of my hands. I'll do my elbows. It's just been working out so well. And I feel like by this time in the winter, I usually have super dry skin and I don't really have any dry patches right now. So been loving these together. And then lastly, because I couldn't not mention them, are my favorite serums they sell. The Glow Maker I've worn every day for years now, and I'm wearing it today underneath my makeup. It's an antioxidant serum. It has vitamin C and I just, my skin loves this stuff. But I also love their hydrator, especially in the winter time and their Niaten calming serum really helps to keep like the redness on my cheeks at bay. So you can get these in a kit and save money. You can also get their creams in a kit and I think it comes with the one cream, their night renewer, and then like their eye cream. So you can save money if you're interested. I will have all of this listed and linked down below. Thank you so much Mayla for supporting my channel and sponsoring this video. Let's dive into my reviews of some makeup items. All right, so my skin is prepped. I've got my vitamin C serum on, my SPF, etc. So now we're going to go into a primer I've been trying for a while. This is the Revlon Prime Plus Perfecting and Smoothing Primer. This is a primer that's like kind of hydrating and smoothing at the same time. If you are someone that definitely prefers just smoothing, you might not like it. But if you're someone that kind of is in between, maybe you have more normal skin or slightly dry, I think you'd like it because it kind of fills in the pores a bit but it also like hydrates the skin. And so it just ends up being a really nice base. That was so fast uh, for foundation or BB cream or whatever. And I feel like my makeup sits pretty well on top of it. I do think with this, I usually wait about a minute, let it sink in, and then I'll go in with my foundation just to give it that time. This is not one that balls up though. It doesn't pill up because it's not quite as pore filling as other like true pore filling primers. So I do feel like this isn't for everyone, but if like I said, you have more normal or slightly dry skin, I think you'd really like it. That was like truly a speed review. Good job, Jess. On that Revlon note though, I have been trying another one of their Prime Plus primers. It's the one that's like brightening. And that one's very new to me, so I'm not sure how I feel about it, but 
Uh, this is just definitely even more my cup of tea because of what I like my skin to look like, you know? Oh yeah, reheated coffee for the win. That would be the third time I've reheated it. All right, so next is one that holy moly, I've gotten so many questions about. I've used this a lot in the past month to kind of see how I feel, actually past two months. This is the NARS Soft Matte Complete Foundation. I have the shade Vienna, which is light 4.5. It's not a perfect shade match for me, so just bear with me here. I honestly didn't think I would like this. I kind of thought it might be a little too mattifying for what I like, or maybe too high coverage. The one thing I know for sure about this, in my opinion, when you're applying this, you have to use your fingers. No brush, no sponge will do it justice. And you have to work in small sections. So for me, small sections would be my cheek, my cheek, my like nose and chin and then my forehead, give or take. Another thing to know is a little bit goes a long way, which tells me this one fluid ounce container is gonna last forever. Like it's definitely gonna go bad before I ever use it up. But the good news is I'm now seeing it has 24 months on there. So the one thing I've realized about this that is so incredible is it actually stays in place better than any other foundation I have when you're wearing a mask. Is it 100% foolproof? No. But is it pretty close? Yeah, like when I've worn this and like gone to the grocery store, so I'm out and about for a couple hours and I'm wearing the mask without taking it off, it looks the same as when I take the mask off. It's pretty cool. So if you've been dying to find something, this might be worth a try. Uh, so I've got a dollop on my finger. Even this might be too much, but we're gonna give it a try. But you literally, it just works with the heat of your hand. Do you see how high coverage that is? I might have gotten too much, so then I'll just kind of spread it. But once you've got it pretty much spread where you need it, I start to just press it in with my fingers. Um, yeah, that little bit could cover easily like half my face. It's just a little too like orangey yellow, I think for my skin tone. So I need to maybe find a better shade match of this. Um, if you're near my skin tone and you have similar shades and you know what shade you wear in this, please let me know. But the thing is, once it sets down, look at the like no coverage, coverage. Wow. And it still looks like thin. Like it doesn't feel like you're wearing this huge mask because it is a thinner formula. And typically I don't like that, but for whatever reason, this just genuinely sits well on my skin. So I'm gonna get less this time and do this on this cheek. I feel like I need a little bit more over there. Um, and I don't wanna stress you out. This, you still have time to blend it in. It's not like you have three seconds and that's it. But you know, beyond 10, 15 seconds, you're, it's gonna start setting pretty fast. So you have time, but just know that you don't have forever. <laughs> the few things to note about this on the more negative side is, if you have a lot of peach fuzz, it might emphasize it. I've been, um, not hydroplaning, that's not, <laughs> like dermaplaning, is that the, yeah. And that has made such a difference, and I do feel like this would be one that might highlight peach fuzz if you have it. So one big thing to keep in mind, because I do think that's important, and it really does make a difference, that if you're not really well hydrated before you use this, it might emphasize those dry, spot so if you have uber dry skin i also don't think you will like this it won't be for you so this is never going to be my everyday foundation because it's a little higher coverage than what i would typically need but when it comes to picking a long wear foundation this definitely fits the bill and it's still pretty lightweight when it comes to how like thick it is so i like it but i don't think it's for everyone hopefully that made sense so another quick review would be this elf ride or die lip balm in mighty mint this is something i don't use like all day long because i love just using aquaphor on my lips morning and night but when i'm getting ready i can toss this on my lips and it's comfortable it's minty it feels really good it's a very thick balm though so you really have to like squeeze it out they have some with different shades as well but i've definitely been reaching for the mighty mint more than anything because it's just a really quick clear gloss so i feel like this would be a great one to just throw in your purse or have like at your desk or wherever maybe at your vanity for those purposes i like it so i threw on some concealer and brows i used the oma concealer in the shade fair lady t1 and then the benefit cabral in 3.5 on my brows so this is something that i feel like has quite mixed reviews online a lot of people love it but not everyone does <laughs> okay that would be true for anything but this is the covergirl clean fresh press powder i think this powder is fine but i know a lot of people use it for their under eyes and i can't quite fall in love with it that way so we're gonna try it that way today um just getting some on my brush I just feel like it ends up making my under eyes look a little bit crepey after like an hour of having it on uh, with any concealer. I feel like I've tried it with a lot, but I still think it gets the job done. But for me, in the same price point, I definitely prefer the number seven Lift and Luminate powder for my under eye. It's maybe a couple dollars more. It's like 12 dollars 
So, but I, I reach for that over this every time. I think this is fine though. And you know what? For like setting your T-zone, if you were like oily, this is great because it's not, it doesn't have super high coverage, but it definitely has that mattifying quality to it. And I love, man, they get me suckered in with this packaging every time. I think it is so pretty. This lighting is super weird. It's a rainy day, so I'm totally dependent on like fake lighting right now. Also, this sweater is from Target and I love it. It sucks that you guys can't like see the whole thing, but it's just like the coolest, like most comfortable sweater ever. I can link it below. This is one that totally surprised me. It's from Bare Minerals. It's their Gen Nude Neutral Palette. I'd heard like Emily Noel or someone, yeah, it was Emily Noel, talk about these and she's got a few that she really likes. And this is the one I was instantly drawn to because I am a total like neutral eyeshadow person. And I just, I love it y'all. And the thing is the shimmers are kind of unique. I really like this shade Believer just all over the lid. It's got this beautiful, slightly warm kind of bronze look, but it's not overly anything. It's not overly orange. It's not overly gold. It's not overly brown. It's like you mix those three shades and add a really beautiful shimmer and that's what you get. It's, I would buy this as a single shadow and use the crap out of it because I just think it is so pretty and dimensional. I'll take that shade as just a one shadow look and get a little bit and blend it into the crease and like that's it. It's so, so easy. But I did wanna show you, if you are fair like me, this shade right here is such an easy, quick blending shade in the crease as well. But then I also like to take Native here with a little bit smaller of a brush and put it in my crease just for a little added definition. And these blend really easily. You can get such a seamless blend and application with them, even if you're like me and you're just kind of quick and sloppy with it, quick and dirty with it, because I I wish I had all the time in the world every single day to get ready, but I don't. I just feel like this creates such quick, nice looking eyeshadow looks that are like hard to mess up. Another quick review is for my new favorite liner from the drugstore. No, my new favorite liner. It just happens to be from the drugstore. This is the L'Oreal Le Liner Signature. I have gotten a lot of questions about this because it is a retractable eyeliner, super creamy. This one is super black. It's in Noir Cashmere. And I love it to tight line with, especially because it doesn't transfer from one waterline to like the bottom one or vice versa. It is the only one I've tried in years that doesn't transfer, even high-end ones. So I love this for that. Um, because I have been super into doing just eyeliner on top and nothing on the bottom. And if it transfers, then it totally changes the way it looks. So I love that this doesn't transfer. It is a thicker actual like liner though. So I love a really good thin like 1.5 millimeter liner. Revlon makes a great one. I will link below because that's another absolute favorite of mine. But again, this one, it's that transfer baby. It just doesn't, it just doesn't budge. So I love it for that. But if you don't like a more like thick liner, you might not like this. But it's not to say you can't still do a thin line with it, I mean, I did, but I think you know what I'm saying. So a lot of times that's all I'll do liner wise. However, I love a good liquid liner on top. So I'm gonna throw on my Physicians Formula Waterproof Liquid Liner. Speaking of mascara, I'm not gonna put this one on today because it is awful in my opinion. So I threw on my Charlotte Tilbury Legendary Lashes Volume 2, one of my favorites, but this is from L'Oreal. It's their Air Volume Mega Mascara. I thought I would love this because I love volumized lashes. I love like fat brushes like this. And I've loved a lot of L'Oreal mascaras. Like Lash Paradise is one of my ultimate favorites. Actually, Lash Paradise is very, 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 very similar to this Charlotte Tilbury one. Anyway, um, so I thought I would like this, but it volumized my lashes well enough. It wasn't perfect, but it was still pretty good. But y'all, this smudged all over my eyes. Like within an hour or two of wearing it, I would just have black down there. And I, I don't get that with like virtually any mascara. So if you already have a smudging problem, you would really, really not like this. But even if you don't, you're gonna find that you suddenly have a smudging issue because of this mascara. It's so bizarre, y'all. This is not a speed, part of the speed review, but I just threw on some bronzer. This is the L'Oreal Lumi bronzer, my favorite. Hit pan on it long ago, I use it every day but I finally broke it. I'm like, dang it. Okay, so I have a couple of blushes to talk about. One that I've recently just started trying like in earnest, like for real, is from Buxom. This is their Wanderlust Primer Infused Blush, specifically in the shade Seychelles. I can't believe I didn't say shade Seychelles. Anyway, it's the prettiest like kind of neutral color and it has this like shimmer to it that's not overpowering at all, but it just looks pretty on the cheeks. 
it almost looks metallic, but when you're putting it on, it's it's so flattering. I also kind of like the smell of it. Kind of reminds me of the butter bronzer scent. And this is a blush I feel like stays on all day. Like it does not budge. So I love this. Another one I've been trying for the past two months is from Tower 28. This is their Beach Please Magic Hour Blush. I love this. I love this shade. I love this formula. I'm a big fan of cream blush. So I want to show you how I've been applying it. I'll just get a little bit on my finger and just tap it on my cheeks. That's it. And it blends in so fast. It is so flattering. And y'all, this is one of the longest lasting blushes I have ever tried, like cream blushes. It's crazy. Like it just lasts forever. A tiny bit goes a long way. Like there was barely any on my finger, but it blends in fast. I just think it is so flattering and pretty. It doesn't emphasize any dryness because it does have that kind of cream texture. Huge fan, like cannot believe how much I like this. However, I do have something I wanted to mention as a very, very, very close dupe. It's from Milani. It's their new launch. It's their Cheek Kiss Cream Blush. Now they do have the Cheek Kiss like liquid blush. I'm talking about the cream ones they just launched. I don't have a shade dupe for this, but formula wise, this lasts a really long time on the skin. I've been using it the past few weeks, almost every day. I apply it the exact same way and it blends in the exact same. So when it comes to the actual formula itself, very, very similar. So I just want to let you know. Now Tower 28 is one of the lesser expensive brands at Sephora. So it's not, you know, $40 for a cream blush, but it is still a little bit more expensive than the Milani. So just something to keep in mind, but I really love both. The Milani is technically not being included in the speed review. However, I've used it for the past few weeks and I'm loving it. Next up would be a highlighter. This is one I purchased. And I thought to myself, Jessica, are you really gonna like it? Cause I don't really go for powder highlighters a lot. That's not true. But I feel like I tend to use cream ones right now a lot. I bought it anyway. And it's the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Superstar Glow Highlighter. They only have one shade. I started wearing it and I was like, oh, it's, I think it's maybe a little dark for my skin. But here's the thing. There's something magic in the formula of this highlighter because every time I apply it, so many of you guys ask me what highlighter I'm wearing. Like more than I've ever been asked with any highlighter I've like ever used. I like to throw what's left on my brow bone, catches the light so beautifully. So what I would recommend for this, if you are fair like me, I've been using this more as a blush topper highlighter. So it's still in my highlight areas, but I'm also kind of working it back onto the actual blush itself because it is a little deeper than my skin tone. I don't think it's super obvious and I, it just, ooh, that might've been too much. It just catches the light so beautifully. It lasts a long time. It looks absolutely stunning on skin. I, I have to say, and this is gonna last forever. This is like the biggest pan ever, most beautiful packaging. And it says it lasts 30 months. So you're gonna have this for years and it's gonna last you years. So for lips, I have two different things I wanted to kind of talk about and review here. One of them is from It Cosmetics. It's their Pillow Lips Solid Serum. I don't hear many people talking about these. I really like this. It's a very comfortable lip product. So this is the shade Wistful, which I like. And I think the idea is that there's some good skincare or lip care in it. So it's got like a serum quality, but there's a little bit of color to it. So of course I'm putting this on top. I guess I should have wiped off that e.l.f. Mighty Mint stuff, but very comfortable to wear y'all. You can throw it on top of a lip balm like I just did. You don't need to wear it with a lip balm. It's basically a lip balm in itself, but with a little bit of shade, they have a bunch of different colors. I've been a fan. My only complaint is you click it up from the bottom and it just, I'm constantly getting the little thing dirty around it and I'm having to wipe it off, but these are small complaints. I really, really like this. So if you are someone, I feel like it makes my lips look healthier. Next thing I want to talk about is the Tower 28 gloss. So specifically, this is their Shine On Lip Jelly. I have it in the shade Coconut. Probably my favorite gloss discovery of this year. This makes my lips look so smooth. Let me just show you, even with something else on, it doesn't matter. You see how it just like smoothed my lips out? It's so comfortable, it's so forgiving. I love it. And it's like lightweight, it's not sticky at all. Like at all. You might look at it and think, oh, it's, but it's gonna be sticky. Mm -mm. It's like the smoothest, most comfortable, lightweight gloss I've ever tried. I am such a fan. And y'all know I love the Dose of Colors lip gloss and I still stand by, that is one of my favorites. This might beat it out because of how it makes my lips look. I just, I freaking love it. If I owned one lip gloss, 
So I think that's everything. I feel like that went by fast. Maybe it didn't. The idea is that it's supposed to go by fast, but you know. But I hope that that was helpful for you. I love doing these speed review videos every, pretty much every other month. So if you want to binge more of my speed review videos in the same format, I will link my playlist below. You can watch them right after this video if you'd like. I would also love it if you subscribed. It helps me so much. And I so appreciate your guys' continued support with my merch launches. I have some new merch in the works for the new year that I am so excited about. So if you weren't interested in my Vlogmas merch, stay tuned because there's some exciting stuff coming. I cannot wait. So I love you all. Thank you again to Mayla for sponsoring this video. Again, if you're interested in checking out any of the Maylove products I mentioned, I will have that link down in the description box. Thank you for supporting my channel and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.